G'day Lockie here. So the other day at Ignite in Orlando, I was up on stage with Corey Sanders during um, the keynotes and I introduced a new feature that we're opening up for private preview on AKS called Virtual Node. Now I wanted just to take five or ten minutes here just to show you the demo again and maybe some things that you didn't see on stage and hopefully give you a little bit more insight into how uh, Virtual Node operates. So I'm going to start here. We actually have an open source repository if you go to GitHub Azure Dash Samples Virtual Node Autoscale. Now that is the whole demo that I showed on stage. Now this will run on any Kubernetes cluster so you can go ahead and run it up yourself. Um, there are some prerequisites here um, and I'll kind of walk through them here but I'd rather just show you the proof of what, what's actually happening here. So um, to sign up for the private preview you can actually, there's a short link here aka.ms aks-virtual-node-preview-sign-up so if you go there you can actually sign up for the private preview itself that should just load a form and you can go through that and we can get you access to the private preview now the demo itself, as for the demo itself I'm going to show you two things one is here I actually have access to the cluster with the demo on it and I'm just going to show you some portal walkthroughs here so if you're enabled for the private preview um, you should have access to um, create a cluster with virtual node installed. I'm going to select a region. I think we have private preview West Europe and West US. And if it's in a region, you'll see down the bottom, this will show up virtual nodes and you can click enable. Now, once your cluster is um, provisioned, virtual node will be installed and ready to use. Now, what that looks like on your actual cluster, cube cuttle get nodes, is you should see um, a virtual node actually already bootstrapped. Um, kubectl describe node so it actually has the following taints um, now just keep in mind I'm actually running this on ACS engine so I'm not using the flow that comes from the portal on AKS I was doing some testing so it may look just a touch different if you're running through AKS but in S it's the, it's the same you will get a, a node obviously that is your virtual node and of course I said this is actually built on virtual kubelet so virtual kubelet is installed and provisioned there ready to go um, now I wanted to kind of take you through an example here quickly now I showed on stage this um, uh, Contoso online store that was just to represent kind of a Black Friday burst event and how we could show bursting out um, what I'm going to do now is actually kick off some load using kubectl create I'm going to give it um, load tester load tester yam job so that will get created and what we should see inside the cluster now is that load tester running now that is running here for seven seconds I'm going to pop over to this live metrics dashboard here just to show you a few things so that's generating load but we have the app set up so that once it hits a specific RPS each pod can only handle a specific RPS before introducing some latency here so we can see that we're hitting kind of the bounds of the, late, um, the RPS per node we only have two pods up and running um, and the latency is up at the moment so we should scale momentarily um, I will have this pop back over here now the bottom I, I just have a label select on a get pods and we can see that more pods are actually coming up at the moment so what I'm going to do is get HPA here so this has actually been driven by HPA under the hood um, and the way that it's all connected is we actually have the app logging into Prometheus and then we have the metric server and the HPA connected so that the HPA is saying hey I want to get to 10 RPS per pod I currently have a hundred so therefore I need to scale up and it's scaling on a factor here some other interesting things that I didn't really talk about on stage were things like this so in about 30 to 40 seconds we're seeing start but we're actually attaching this to a private VNet so this is inside your own um, infrastructure now traditionally with ACI we only had public IPs available we now have private IPs that also means a couple of other things so this terminated thing is interesting there's two actual containers inside this pod one of them is open census and currently the open census if it doesn't connect immediately it terminates and restarts that's not a not an issue um, and it's we're actually pushing all our uh, metrics that we're pushing to live this live metrics dashboard through an open census forwarder here so that's why there's two pods but let me get back to this private VNet so that's on your own infrastructure the other interesting thing is Kubernetes service discovery so service to pod pod to service 
pod to pod networking now actually works as well, which is great. Didn't kind of mention that. I glazed over it on stage. So these are actually all in my own infrastructure. We have access to Kubernetes service discovery as well. So what we should see, you can see that this is scaling up and I have it set to scale up to 100. We should see 100 eventually. Uh, you can actually see these come online. As they come online, we're up to 23 right now. You can also see that we're actually achieving more RPS. We're at well over 1K right now, and our latency has gone back to normal because each individual pod is only is serving under 100, I think we had as the, as the limit. Also, so this is using virtual kubelet under the hood. We kind of talked about inside your um, subscription, you only see the container instances. So that's why it scales really quickly uh, because we don't have to worry about the provision of VMs. We can actually just go straight out of the ACI using the virtual node. We see that we're already at 29 um, provisioned onto the virtual node. That's that number. And these are the original two pods running there. Um, we also have it tied into Azure Monitor for containers, so if you take a look here, you can actually see some real-time uh, memory consumption, uh, CPU consumption in Azure Monitor for containers if that's already deployed to your cluster. Um, finally, in the demo, we actually sh ship the metrics to two places. We're driving um, the HPA off Prometheus, so this is actually a Grafana dashboard on Prometheus, so you can see the event, the RPS peak up here. And here you can actually see more, more and more pods come online. And we're actually scraping them with Prometheus individually um, using the endpoint discovery in Prometheus. And obviously I said that service to pod routing works. That's why we can scrape them. Um, and this is basically the response time going down and the, the numbers going up here. So that is just showing it's another view on the same thing. If you want to use live metrics, you can. But if you want to use Grafana and Prometheus, that's okay too. Um, now, under the hood, scheduling-wise, um, so that's in essence how it works. This will keep scaling until this condition is no longer met. I have it capped to 100. These should all start, and I should eventually get 100 attached. So I'm going to let that continue to go. If I cat the load test, I'll just show you what we have. So we're just running hay um, in a container, um, and we're pointing it at the public ingress for this actual application, which is the same address that we're hitting here. Um, now scheduling wise, what we have, so get pods, let's just grab a pod name here, cube cuddle get pods, yaml. Couple of things are happening, we're adding a taint, so using an, uh, using an admission controller, a webhook admission controller, so we're using a mutating webhook admission controller, it's a mouthful. We're actually adding the tolerations to the pods as they're scheduled. We're also adding some scheduling, so we're doing a node affinity, we're doing a preferred. So the idea is here that we don't want to go to virtual kubelet until the nodes are full and then we will burst out, is the what we're trying to represent. Now in Helm here we've actually installed everything. Um, sorry, I just updated Helm and my firewall's blocking that. So we actually have this affinity admission controller that we ship as part of that sample, which will add the toleration and add the scheduling affinity to Kubernetes. So the, uh, we have the Grafana dashboard, we have the online store app that I showed, we have the Prometheus adapter, which is uh, responsible for um, taking the data out of Prometheus, scraping it out and pushing it into the metric server so the HPA can get it so that we can have it in the HPA, the horizontal pods auto scaler like this. Right, so we should eventually see this normalize and we're at 70 online now. So you can see that this is super quick um, and super easy to actually scale out and give you that Black Friday burst capacity event without having to wait for VMs to be bootstrapped and then images to be pulled. We just go straight for the images being pulled and then run up. So that's kind of it. Um, so I, I mentioned earlier, you can go to the private preview sign up to have access to this. Um, here is the repo where you can create it yourself and we go through step by step. This is what you're gonna need um, to actually recreate this demo. We wanted to ship it so that it was tangible and you can see what virtual node actually does. But um, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm really excited to, to ship this feature and if you're really interested in that, I can kind of think of uh, burst capacity situation, CI, you know, scale to zero CI, I can think of jobs, I can think of machine learning, all these kind of things through the familiarity of, of a Kubernetes API to actually schedule out onto ACI as being a big, um, 
benefit. So if you're interested, take a look. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback. Sign up for that private preview and you can join. Um, but I, I thank you for joining. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for joining. Cheers.